How do you? Welcome. My name is Anna. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm going to go through my top 10 favorite highlighters. So if you want to see what happens to be in my top 10, then just keep watching. All right, so a little disclaimer. I don't have a lot of highlighters, but I do have more than 10. And so I thought I might as well give you my favorites kind of in order of how I like them and talk about a couple things about them and what makes them, you know, good for some things or not for others and, and why I like each of them. So in 10th place for my top 10 favorite highlighters is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder in the shade I'm so lit. This is actually, it's huge and I'm sure it's incredibly inexpensive. Um, and so for the price and for what you get, this is an amazing deal. Let's see if we can show you nice glean. I mean, it's going to, you know, it has that cast of color on the skin. So in that way, you know, it just depends. It's not going to be, you know, it kind of sits on top of your skin a little bit more than some of them. But if you want, you know, if you want some BAM, you can also use this. It's really nice as a shadow if you're doing a cut crease or something. It, it's it's pretty gleamy. Um, so that is one of them. And just for the price, <laughs> this is kind of a win-win. In ninth place, I have the Revolution and Soph X. This is a super old one, but this is a highlighter palette that is super cute. It's got a bunch of different shades and hues. And, you know, some of them do sort of end up looking the same on the skin, but you have so many different options. And I think that that is just so cute. Same sort of thing. It's a really good value. You know, the price on these is definitely, they're definitely very affordable. So if you want a palette, I highly recommend this one. I believe it came out a couple years ago, um, but I think I've see, still seen it for sale. I'll put a link below if I can find it for sale, but that's, you know, solid, solid highlighters. So in eighth place for my top 10 favorite highlighters, and I'm gonna do number eight and number seven together because they're actually sort of the same thing and I maybe could have put them together, but you know, they're, they're slightly different. But that is the Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighters. These are such a cool highlighter because they almost are like a moon highlighter. There's such a subtle glow, and the reason I love these is they're, they're colors that I don't really have in highlighters, and it's like they have a glow from within in this sort of dark way. Um, let's see, which, was, which one did I do first? Okay, so Squid is this sort of purpley pink on the top there. It's kind of a white, almost like a whitish pink. And then look at that blue purple sort of, it really catches the light in a different way than a lot of highlighters that I have. And I actually have one more and I cannot find it. And it is called Cat Shark. And that one's a little bit more pink pinky purple um but that's a good one as well but it didn't make this video frankly because i couldn't find it <laughs> but it would have been with with these two in sixth place i have the highlight portion of this natasha denona love what is this called love cheek duo and first off this packaging is bananas pretty and I love it so much. <laughs> so to be fair, I think part of the reason I love this so much is because of the packaging, but 
It's sort of a gold and pink duochrome highlighter. It's just super cute. Look, it's hearts. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the blush in here, to be honest. But the highlighter is very pretty. It's got that pink base and then that sheen on top. Very pretty. Very pretty. So in fifth place, I have the Sydney Grace Loose Highlighter in black tie and I'm not sure if this shade is available but I will say that this formula I was not expecting this it looks very dark in in the pot but then when you put it on your hand it's much lighter but look at that gleam I find this one when I put it on is actually very subtle. It gives you this subtle kind of glow from within. It's very, very beautiful. And I love the color. Again, it's that sort of, it's a little bit cooler, almost lavender base with that sheen on it. Kind of like the um, Love Cheek Duo highlighter, but a little bit more cool toned, a little bit more lavender than pink. And in fourth place, I have the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in the Universal um, shade is what they call it. And I rarely hit pan on anything and I have definitely hit pan on this guy. <laughs> and these are just so, so beautiful. Um, you can use them. I've used the, the deeper ones for eyeshadow or the deeper one for eyeshadow but the other three shades look amazing as a highlighter. And if I really want just a gleaming highlighter that just looks subtle and beautiful, that white shade is, is amazing. My hand is getting a little bit full of sparkle and sheen. Highly recommend this one. Um, if you want versatility, this is sort of like the amped up luxury version of the Revolution you know, um, I find these are definitely like more beaming and they do come in other shades too. And I've heard good things about those. I don't have any of those, but I have heard, um, good things about all of the, all of them. They're all a great formula. All right. In third place, I have my Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter. And this is, first off, again, the packaging so cute so cute and this is the highlighter this is newer to me in fact this is very new to me but i'm already really in love with it it's so subtle it's so subtle in this just you know it, it just melts into your skin and looks amazing in fact i'm wearing it today and i'm not wearing foundation but you can see it's just that like subtle glow and the color is so beautiful it actually kind of reminds me of my number one favorite highlighter it's just got a little bit more pink to it but that is see that's just subtlety but a nice sheen it's almost got an even more subtle pink base that that kind of pink base with the gold gleam I guess I guess I have a type Either that or that's just what people are coming out with. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to switch to my other hand now because this one is very, very blingy. Just kind of all over. I just have like a highlighted, highlighted hand. In second place, I have, oh my heart, <laughs> the Odin's Eye Alva 2. You knew I was not going to not include something Odin's Eye in here. <laughs> but this is the Alva 2 Highlighter Palette from Odin's Eye. So cute. I love the packaging. It has four shades in it. Again, it's a palette, which is nice. You have some variety and it goes from, you know, let's see, I'm going to swatch all of these because they're just so pretty. And I mean, a blue highlighter. I don't have many of those. And that's going to be great. Just icier than icy for a blue look. But yeah, you have a super gleaming and a glittery shade of highlighter and then like I said there's this just 
ice, ice blue. Almost looks white, but yeah, there's that hint of blue, which just gives it that super cool toned color. And then this shade Silpha here. Silpha here sort of gives me vibes like the Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighters, where there's just this deep, deep glow in there. And you almost get that like ultraviolet in there. Oh, so pretty. Oh, there's are showing up so good on camera too. I guess it's sort of golden hour, which is helping. But then you also have a warm highlight shade. Man, as I'm going through this, I'm like, is this actually my favorite? But it's not. <laughs> it's number two. <laughs> Cause I just I don't read for it quite as much as the last one, but so much variety. And I love that. Just a lot of variety. And drum roll, the number one favorite highlighter in my collection is this Huda Beauty Nymph Highlighter in the shade Flora. And I know that this particular shade is not available anymore, but they did come out with, look at that. They did come out with um, some new shades in this formula recently. And I'm curious to check those out. I haven't done it yet. But oh my gosh, this color is just... And I thought it was going to be too deep on my skin. It's not. It's absolutely perfect. It's a subtle golden... Just melt into your skin highlight. It's so pretty. It's kind of... It's got sort of that peachy under undertone and then that just golden gleam. I find this absolutely so flattering and it just melts into the skin and looks so beautiful. I, I think it looks good with every look I've ever tried it with. I mean, I haven't tried it with, I mean, I think it would even look good with like purples and I've done it with blues for sure. Yeah, it's just... Sometimes I don't think it's going to work, and then it just always does. I love this highlighter so much. If, if Huda ever brought it back, I think I would get a backup. Because <laughs> I'm going to be sad. I mean, am I ever going to go through all of this? Maybe. Maybe. Because it's that good. Anyways, that was my top 10 favorite highlighters. Thank you so much for joining me on my highlighter journey today. If you did like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And I'd love if you would subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for supporting my little YouTube channel. And if there is a highlighter that is your favorite that I need to try, please let me know in the comments what that is. And maybe I'll be able to check it out. Anyways, thanks again for being here. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.